computing for the people by the people <laughs> take picture of their cough annoying but it's actually valuable information you need computers these days I am Helena Mishova and I am a scientist at the Qatar Computing Research Institute in the tiny nation of Qatar. And I am working as a part of a social computing group where we do, um, well, I would like to say that it's computing for the people by the people <laughs> for, um, for topics that are important to the people, right? So things like disaster relief, uh, some sociological questions, politics, uh, urban in informatics, um, so a variety of questions. Uh, but my focus is um, mining social media for signals in um, dealing with health, especially with things like obesity and diabetes. Usually as, for example, um, nutritionist, you may want to know what people eat every day. And it's really hard and expensive to get people to keep diaries of this sort of thing. Um, but in fact, people already are keeping diaries by posting on social media and say, you know, take picture of their coffees or their lunches or dinners and posting it online. So for most of us, maybe it sounds annoying, you know, vapid that people are doing that, but it's actually valuable information for uh, public health researchers. So what we do is we collect um, all these streams of people's coffees and breakfasts, etc., and try to um, understand whether they can have some kind of signal for population health. So for example, we've related uh, the caloric values of foods that we found on Twitter with obesity and diabetes rates in the United States, and the correlation is really high. Um, even though we are basically talking about one value, just the average caloric value of, um, of these foods and tweets, um, they're actually um, having a lot of information about people's health. Um, but then it's even cooler because we don't just estimate um, your health, but we can un understand the cultural um, and social context of your health behaviors. So do you eat with other people? How much do you go out? Um, what kind of beliefs you hold? Uh, what kind of sports you follow? What you do every day? And this can be very interesting for potential interventions. Um, if we wanted to have an uh, effective health campaign, uh, we could target it to particular populations. So I started um, on computing just from my natural inclination. So when I first took my first um, programming class, I realized that I really love it. And it was back in the day where you had to actually print out your code and turn in the printout <laughs> instead of the code itself. But I remember just looking at my code and loving it and thinking it's so graceful and beautiful. Um, so since then, I, I understood that I have a natural knack for it and decided to go into it. But of course, there were a lot of practical um, considerations. So for example, I played piano quite a while and at some point I had to choose, you know, to be an artist or to be a computer scientist. And there were a few practical issues, right? Um, what kind of jobs I would have with one or the other degree. And I thought computers are everywhere. You can do anything with them, right? So that really convinced me that no matter what I do, it could be interesting and I could always have a job. So that's why I went into computing, although I still play piano till now. So in my experience, computers are everywhere. So if you just get a bit of training in programming or understanding IT in general, I think it will be an asset no matter what profession you really go into. So for example, yeah, my my um, degree was in computing, but I actually was still interested in, for example, sociology, right? And so my, um, my PhD thesis ended up being in um, understanding whether you can predict elections using social media, right? And so I was able to combine my hobby, my interest with my um, 
with my degree and I think that it is possible for anything so in design in um, in sociology in medicine in anything you you need computers these days and I think as um, as you're choosing fields um, any sort of a minor in, in computing would be a benefit to to your prospects to career prospect and finally it is fun just to be a part of the geek community right so to be able to n understand you know what is a neural network what is ai you know all these words that these days are getting more and more popular to really understand what they mean um is is a lot of fun is um you know you get to be really on the forefront of of this new field and you get to decide what it is